Friday, it's Friday, it's the end of the week, it's the last inventory, day. Inventory, inventory, inventory. Like, you get a book, you get a book, you get a book. If you all are new to my channel, my name is Shantia Coleman. I am the author of Wake Up Girl and Push Through, as well as a number of other Christian resources, or shall I say Christian devotionals. Um, I am a wife, I am a mother, I am a business owner, as well as building a ministry. So this is my official first vlog. And when I tell you guys that I am nervous i am nervous number one i don't know what i'm doing at all and i have tried to research watch youtube videos just trying to get an understanding number one of what vlogging is and what's the proper way to do it and yeah i haven't found a video that is like this is how you do it so i prayed about it and i'm about to just let it flow okay so as i make these vlogs just know that number one god is getting the glory out of all of it anything i do everything i do the goal is for god to get the glory i am a wife and God is going to get the glory through that. I am a mother and God is going to get the glory through that. I am a business owner. God is going to get the glory through that. I am a author. God is going to get the glory through that. Um, and just a woman in general, God is going to get the glory through that. So, um, so let's, let's, let's just start. All right. So check out this recap. dropping off the boys at school so it is like it's 8 55 a.m right now so um i'm about to get my day started because it always seems as though whenever i drop the boys off at school i can do one or two things and before i know it it's going to be time for me to get in the pickup line and pick them back up so i try to use the time that i have um the time that i have with them at school I try to maximize that time as much as I can so I have some orders that came in I'm about to print out some shipping labels um, uh, package up the orders because my goal is to when I have inventory my goal is to get orders out as quickly as I can because people want their number one people want their order but people really want their books like they are looking forward to these um to these devotionals they are looking forward to um spending that time with god um when i have like my marketing um my ads running the ads are are bringing in people all over the united states and so when they see it this when they see the ad that um either with me reading the book or me pointing to something in the book it's like in my eyes it's it's a state of urgency when they buy this book they want this book super fast so that's my goal is to get the orders out as quickly as i as i possibly can because i know how it feels to be so excited to want to start a journey uh be so excited to want to feed your spirit and you know while the excitement is there while the um while everything is fresh you want to be able to keep that momentum that's what it is you want to keep that momentum going so that's my goal as a business owner is to um understand who my audience is or who shall I say who the who the customer is and to get orders out as quickly as I can so that they can start this journey of developing or restoring or strengthening their personal relationship with God.
into my little mini office um this is my boys they had like an extra closet in their room so i kind of made this be my little inventory space it's my inventory for amazon i try to keep that separate from my website so this is amazon right here um amazon then as you can see how empty these shelves are this is my website which when i tell y'all that this is um i have to pack these up all of these are for my website um all of these are for my website so when i tell y'all that i have seen my business go from the highest of the high meaning i'm ordering thousands of inventory at one time uh so when i say thousands i mean like a, a quantity of a thousand um a quantity of 500 books um at a time and that's just one book like i would order um uh, volume one and it, it'd be a quantity of 500 or a thousand um a quantity for volume two a hundred i mean not a hundred but a 500 or a thousand um so i have seen like just like inventory galore and that right now in my business i am not as you can see with the empty shelves i don't have inventory the way that i used to and when i tell y'all that god still has sustained my business through all of these years it is nothing but the hand of god on this business the favor of God on this business and I'm still learning still growing as it relates to being an author trying to um, figure out how how to sell my book how to get people to want to purchase my book um, but I trust him wholeheartedly to turn these empty shelves into inventory galore inventory 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 like you get a book you get a book you get a book um so yeah so i just wrapped up some books uh, i'm about to put those here on this shelf here um so it'll it'll have a little bit more inventory there and then when i package up these it would be it'll be more inventory over here now this is where volume two normally is and i'm completely out of volume two so I have to actually buy inventory for that but um that's wake up man i have to wrap those and in that box is wake up man as well let me go ahead and put these books up that i just did so that i can go ahead and print out my labels and get these orders up and out How are you? Hey, baby. Yeah. Hey, you. Hey, hey, baby. What's wrong? Uh oh. He, he, scoot over. Scoot over. He made. He made. He 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 made us get. Get. Thank you. Separ separated tomorrow. I did. Uh oh. Put tape that on your seat. Put your seat on. Well, because uh, he, it just say. Like, Put your, hold on, hold on real quick, Carter. Put your seatbelt on first. Wave at the camera. Wave at the camera, Carter. Wave. Every day, my day changes. Um, but one thing that does not change is me putting God first. That doesn't change no matter what. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's the end of the week, it's the last day. Um, it's Friday. 
I have successfully dropped the boys off at school. Um, it's like 7.57 a.m. So I have started, I'm out and about early this morning because I have um, a lot of things that I'm trying to accomplish before I have to go back and pick up the boys from school. Um, my day has started off so positive. Um, I, wake, I woke up, spent my time with God this morning. Um, I have a, I have, I have like a, I have a community, a subscription community on Instagram where people can subscribe to my Instagram, uh, my Instagram page and they get like exclusive content. So at first I was nervous about doing that because I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to. I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to consistently post on there. And so I post like Bible study tips. I post like um, different things that I read in my devotion time, in my own personal devotion time. And I post about it. So it's really authentic, um, really transparent. Nothing is pre-planned. Like everything is kind of how the Holy Spirit leads me in the morning. So... I have consistently been uh, posting on my Instagram subscriptions community. Um, and so I'm, I'm very proud of myself about that because I do my devotions every single morning, like every single morning. And for years, sometimes I would post certain things on my stories. Like if something stood out to me and I thought it was so powerful, I would like read it out loud or highlight it or underline it in my, um, during my devotional time and I would record it and put it on my stories. So, um, it's like that, but it's, but it's just for a, it's just for a, it's just for subscribers only. So you have to physically uh, subscribe to receive that content. But I'm proud of myself because I have consistently been doing it. Um, and I, I believe that the name of the game is consistency. With everything that I'm doing, with YouTube, um, like in order for YouTube to be what I need it to be or what I want it to be, um, I have to be consistent with with my business in order for it to do what I want it to do I have to be consistent so that's what I'm trying to focus on and don't and get out of my head and and trying to make sure everything is so perfect before I just start and just do it so y'all are getting firsthand what it feels like with me just doing it good bad and the ugly messing up not looking my best stuttering <laughs> all of it i'm not gonna edit it i am going to post it how it comes out but um so i'm off right now to the car wash um and then i'll probably get me some starbucks um i normally drink coffee at home but i figure since i'm out and about i might as well splurge a little and um get me some starbucks and then by that time most of these places that i need to do will be open like me getting my um shipping picking up my printing my shipping late my not, what am i trying to say my shipping branding cards pick those up oh that sun bright and um pick it up our vacation shirts now this is what i'm super excited about so uh i can't wait to show y'all i designed the shirts myself i designed everything myself and the guy he sent me a um a picture of it once it's done and i'm like super super excited i'm really getting into this vacation mode getting excited um type deal even this morning Caden um uh, xed off on our calendar I have like the boys a calendar on the refrigerator where it's like how the countdown to Disney World the countdown to our vacation so every single morning he x's out the day so we can be ready for our vacation so that's what I'm excited about
alrighty alright so I just picked up my branding brand my branding little flyers that I put in my packages when I ship my books I put this on there so that um, so that it markets my business so it has my picture it has my name it has my YouTube name it has my Instagram name and um, I just updated it because I put my uh, the, uh, the audiobook for volume one and volume two of wake up girl and push through so I have to do a better job of trying to market it to to for people to know that there is an audiobook available so there's a paperback book there's a paperback book there is a Kindle or like an ebook version, but there's also an audiobook. So I felt like I, it's, it was time to update it. So here it is. Here it is. So this is the front and this is the back. And I love it. It's simple, it's quick, it's simple, and it gets the job done um the other the other one was a picture of me it was kind of further back so i brought it in it's really time for me to do another brand branding photo shoot when i did this photo shoot i just thought i thought this was everything i just thought i was doing the thing i had i had a makeup artist i had a um a hair wait wait i had a makeup artist I had a um what's the name of the wardrobe i had a stylist and then my photographer so we were at the photo shoot the the photographer was taking pictures my makeup artist was touching my makeup making sure that i wasn't sweating changing my lipstick based on what what outfit i had on the stylist was coming in fixing stuff making sure nothing went falling off and all i had to do was pose mm -mm, you know do I, all i had to do was do my thing i called in my dream team so hopefully um i can do that again like because that was a really good experience and it's needed for business because what you pour in to your business and how you feel about your business is how you get things rolling it's, it, 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 get, it gives you that confidence to know that you are that you can do this like sometimes we just need the confidence to know that we can do this so with me standing on God's word all the time I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me that allows me to be able to walk confidently in this business and doing things that are uncomfortable like photo shoots you know what I'm saying like just doing things that you need to do to market yourself professionally um to market yourself period like as an entrepreneur I, I i wear a lot of hats so i have to do all the things if that makes sense so anyway when i get home i have a few orders i have a few orders that I have a few orders that I'm gonna um, ship out today. So, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Took care of business. Took care of business with my uh, car. Actually cleaned the car. Um, got that and now off to go get shirts. So, I'm doing good and it's only 10.10, 10, 10 o'clock. So, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, I'm proud of myself. successful day um or pretty productive day i'm headed to the post office right now to go drop off some um packages and um and then head to go pick up the boys 
Carter has um, baseball practice today, so I got to get my mind prepared and ready for that. Do the, the, the alligator when you catch it next time. I'm tired I'm tired um I have uh, I didn't just get back home but back home everybody is settled everybody is asleep um the boys had a really good practice today um they did really 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 good um they have a game on tomorrow and yeah so i need to get some sleep but it was a really really good day toiletries and really start packing and I'm super excited because this trip this vacation is um, the boys first time going to Disney World I think my husband and I have done a good job of building up the expectation um, of Disney World like I, I created a video and everything um, of like da -da, do you want to take a family trip Dun -dun. Are you sure you want to take a family trip? expectation and just to let them know that we're going to Disney World so we're excited about it. we are excited about that but even on top of that it is my husband and I's nine year wedding anniversary and that is such a big deal it's so much to be thankful for like our anniversary is on the same day as my sister's birthday and we did that on purpose we met on my sister my husband and i met on my sister's birthday and we actually got married on my sister's birthday and we did that intentionally because i wanted to always always be able to remember my sister like i want to always be able to celebrate her life i want to always be able to celebrate her memory and that's something that I wanted to make sure that it um 
that it that that it never got lost like as time passes that it never just loses its meaning it never loses its meaning and my sister's life her legacy everything about her will never ever be lost when it comes to me um and that's because ever since losing her i have intentionally intentionally made her a part of my entire life like even just me being married i think about that that's something that my sister did not get a chance to be able to do she did not get a chance to be able to be married and to become a wife and that's something that she wanted she wanted to be she wanted to be married she wanted to be a wife um there are a lot of experiences that she did not have with with her child um it's a it's a lot of firsts firsts that she did not get to experience with her own child um and so it's kind of like I choose to live I choose to live life for my sister I truly do I truly do I, I choose to live life for my sister and that's why I take marriage seriously um, my husband takes marriage seriously this is not something that we're just in just to say that we're married or just to say that we have a um, that, that we have a spouse like we take marriage seriously we take having a kingdom marriage seriously we take being a husband I mean not a husband we take of course we take being a husband and a wife serious but we also take being a mom and a dad seriously um, and that's why collectively him and I make such a good team as it relates to giving our children the best life that we possibly can have. And I'm not talking about um, finances and, you know, doing all the fancy stuff. I'm talking about in simple, simple ways, we try our best to create memories. We try our best to create memories in the simple ways. Because when I tell you that I thank God for where I am in my life mentally, I thank God for where I am mentally because I remember not being here. I remember how how I felt um, just trying to do life without God. Like trying to do life, just doing life. And I have always believed in God. I have always believed in Jesus. But I have not always had my own personal relationship with God. I haven't, I haven't always had my own personal relationship with God. And because now I do, now I do have my personal relationship with God, I take that very seriously because I see the difference. I see the difference between how I view life, how I appreciate life, how I even think about life, how I how I viewed all of that before having a relationship with God, and how I view life now that I have my own personal personal relationship with God. Like it's a difference between just being taught or being brought up in knowing God and, and, and actually putting in the work. I've had the feeling of, of, of being disconnected from God. Like I'm developing my personal relationship with God, but for some reason I feel distant. I feel disconnected. I felt that way when I did not make it a habit to spend time with God. Once I created a morning routine, once I created and, and turned that routine into a habit, that's that's where that feeling of being disconnected, that's where that feeling of being distant, that's that's when that went away. Because it's every day I began feeding my spirit. And you have to, I realize that you have to want that for yourself. You have to be hungry for that. You really do. And I just thank God. I thank I thank God for it. I thank God for my relationship with God because my relationship with God is how I am able 
to appreciate my marriage the way that I need to appreciate it, to appreciate motherhood the way I need to appreciate it. Um, because uh, it's not easy out here. And I choose to not take marriage for granted. I choose not to take, and not even just marriage, I choose to not take my husband that God made for me, that, sp that was specially designed for me, I choose not to take him for granted. That's what I choose. And so with us going on vacation, with us about to celebrate these nine years of being married, which is actually nine, 10, 11, 11 years of us be knowing each other, being together, we are celebrating that to the max because it is nothing but God that has allowed us to continue to be married and have a thriving marriage where God is the center, where God is our foundation, where I'm not just praying for him, but he's praying for me and we pray for each other and we are being the example for our boys to learn how to pray and to be comfortable, to be comfortable praying. I take, I don't, I don't take that for granted at all. So this nine years that we are celebrating this nine years that we are going to Florida and we are about to celebrate is worth celebrating. Okay, I am back. I am back. First of all, I'm tired, but my excitement is overshadowing my tiredness so i have to show y'all these shirts okay it sounds like i'm whispering i might be might not i don't know but okay so da, 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 da. okay these are the disney shirts that i designed myself and so this is it it says making magical memories together Disney family vacation and this is daddy and this is 2024 so this is daddy okay and then you have Kaden and then you have Carter and then you have me mommy okay but this, this is the part I'm excited about. So y'all know it's our anniversary, right? So I also designed a back part. I mean, not a back, not a back. A side arm. Look, look what it says. Today's my anniversary. Nine years. Hope you can see it. Established 2015. And so, mommy and daddy has this on our arm has this on our arm and then the boys have this on their arm today's mommy and daddy anniversary established 2015 isn't that cute i hope you can see it i don't know there we go okay isn't that cute Thank you. So yeah, I designed that. Thought about that in my head. Thought about that in my head. And I also designed, so these are our um, airport shirts. So as we go through the airport, we'll be wearing these. See the little airplane right there? Pay attention to details. Um, and then we're going to Legoland. Shh, it's a surprise for the boys. But we're going to Legoland. And look. Look at that. Coleman Family Building Memories 2024 Legoland. I did that. That's me right there. Isn't that cute? So now we all, we all have matching shirts uh -oh. we all have matching shirts okay hold on to go with our disney shirts to go with our disney look. Okay. 
we each have ear hats so daddy has one and on the side this these came from etsy mommy so i have one then kaden and then carter i'm whispering because all of this stuff is a surprise so the hats are a surprise them knowing about legoland is a surprise see we're we're creating memories for our boys and they're gonna be like i love you mommy and daddy i love you mommy and daddy okay that's it okay i had to make a short little video to show y'all those because number one i'm proud of them and number two day five um but i got a hair appointment tomorrow a hair appointment i'm getting some um small knotless boho goddess that sounds like a lot small knotless boho goddess braids so i'll take y'all on that journey uh with me tomorrow morning okay gotta go i'm so sleepy <laughs> Just finished getting my hair done and it is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at these curls. This is small, knotless. Look at these parts. Look at these parts. Small, knotless, boho goddess braids. Now, who not vacation ready? Who not vacation ready? Oh, I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is the end of this weekly vlog. Please make sure that you guys subscribe. Let me fix my hair. See, now I got, now I have hair I can swing. Oh, but um, make sure you all subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'm going to be consistent with doing these vlogs. This one was a long one. So I'm gonna try my best to try to shorten them some kind of way. But uh, yeah, that's it. So this is the end of my first vlog. See y'all.